We, uh, we come bearing gifts. Cookies, chocolate's supposed to raise your endorphins and make you feel better. Thanks. Hey, uh, you, uh, wanted to see us? Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and have a seat. Okay. So, uh, I need your help with that. The guilt over hitting Jake has pushed him over the edge. His drinking is completely out of control. And I want to do an intervention today. Absolutely not. Luke, how about a little lunch? Why were you standing while Jake got hit? You mean where I hit him? Luke hasn't stumbled in here yet? Well, I don't know about that. His passport is gone, the cigar drawer is empty, and he has cleaned out the safe. Well, not surprised. What do you know about it? Well, Lucky told me that Luke tried to provoke Jason into shooting him. Did you see him last night? No. Uh, he was staying here. Lucky wants to stage an intervention. Really? Yeah. How does he plan on accomplishing that? Is he gonna tie him to a chair and chloroform him? If need be, yes. Well, too late, he's gone. You know that for sure? Nicholas, the evidence is here. He doesn't leave heartwarming goodbye notes. He just takes off. He says it makes the uh, reunion all the sweeter. Well, he has to come back eventually. No, he doesn't. Not if he has guilt and grief to outrun. I know you blame yourself, Elizabeth, and no matter how many times I tell you you're wrong, you'll never hear me. Luke, this wasn't your fault. I was driving the car. It was dark. This road is poorly lit. It was an accident. I know that an apology will never bring Jake back. And it won't help you with your grief, but it's all I got. Please, 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 look, just do us both a favor and forgive yourself, okay? The last time I drove this road, I hit your little boy. And I didn't know it. I just kept driving, music blaring. Just now, as I was standing there, I, I felt the impact. I think I'll always feel it. Believe me, I understand what it feels like to be overwhelmed with guilt. But what happened was an accident. I just hope you can find a way to believe it. You know how Dad feels about the 12 steps. You do an intervention, he's going to shut down and walk out. We have to try. You think he's going to actually sit there and listen while we blame him for this tragedy? Not him, the drinking. Oh, my God, you think he's actually going to appreciate that distinction? Yeah, no, Luke's going to have a knee-jerk reaction, okay? And it's not going to be pretty. Do you have a better idea about how to get through We him? tell him that we love him and we support him That's while we... That's exactly what we've been doing, and he's spiraling out. So you think it's going to be better if we ambush him and we make yeah, him no, feel worse? Uh, Luke's going to think the entire family's turned against him, and that's the last thing he needs exactly. right now. Exactly. Okay, Dad got drunk, he thrashed the haunted star, and almost torched it. How far do you guys want to take this? We stopped him. Who's to say he's not going to try something like that again? He's drinking all the time. He's not going to bottom out. He already has. Lulu, listen. <laughs> he, he went over to Jason's apartment, okay? He gave Sam an earful about how, how Jason doesn't have a right degree for Jake, that he's just some kind of glorified sperm donor who happened to sleep with Elizabeth. 
He, he told Sam to deliver the message. He went back to his office and waited for Jason with an empty gun. Wait, Luke tried to goad Jason into killing yes. him? Yes. He wouldn't actually do it. That's not the point. You really want to take that chance? Listen, we have to do something now or Dad's going to find a way to end up dead. Dad is in crisis, okay? I'm, I'm not just going to sit back and watch you him self-destruct. You know why Dad's drinking? Because he's trying to push your buttons so that you'll shut him out. He thinks if he destroys your relationship, that's what he deserves. That's all the more reason to do the intervention. It's just going to piss him off. I don't care. It's better than him winding up dead. You tell him that you love him unconditionally, and he has no desire to drink and act out. It's uh, gone. That whole happy scenario is false. No, our dad is punishing himself, and if we support him, he's not going to do that. You're assuming that Luke's drinking is the problem, when it's really just a symptom of something far greater. Uh, Jake's death pushed Luke to the brink, and we need to find a way to pull him back. I know this is painful, okay? No, nobody ever wants to confront these things head on, but we're running out of time. Hey, come on in. Uh, your father's gone. Gone? Where? That is a question only he can answer. Yeah, he cleaned out his safe, cigar oh. box, took his passport, well, everything. We need to track him down and do the intervention right away before he gets himself killed. I agree. No, I hope he stays gone. Because addiction is your problem, not his. And if we're going to go through with this alcohol inquisition, don't expect me to be there because I'd be ashamed to be a part of it. Excuse me. Lucky's worried about you. If you could just go see him. He doesn't need me. You both need each other. Every, you always have. Elizabeth, every time he looks at me now, all he's going to see is a devastating loss. So you think if you just disappear, he's going to forget? Jake's death is going to be with him forever. Don't make him lose his dad, too. Sometimes the kindest gift you can give someone is distance. I know you love him. Enough to let him move on without me. Maybe you should think about that. He came to me yesterday and told me that he's still thinking about marrying Siobhan. He pretty much asked for my blessing. Did you give it? I just want him to be happy. And now I have to find a way to convince myself I'm okay with it. He'll never let you go. Not until you let him go. Anything new he tries, any new woman he meets, nobody, nothing will get past the starting block. You think I'm bad for him? The way I've lived my life so recklessly, hurting so many people and none more than you. I'd be a stupid hypocrite to judge your choices. But after all the damage that's been done, I think you both need a fresh start. Maybe you should. Let him go. But I'm trying. Good luck, Elizabeth. I would like to accept that thanks, but there's